Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to fulfill a request that I had um, from one of my really good friends, the little boy. Hi Zach. Um, he asked, can you teach me how to draw Cookie Monster eating a cookie? And yes, I can. I definitely can. And I'm going to make it as simple as I can so you can follow along as well. All right, so all you'll need for this are a piece of paper, pencil, and an eraser, and a black outline marker. All right, let's get started. So when we start this, it's really important that you start with a sketch. That means I don't want you to push really hard on the paper. I want you to hold your fingers a little bit further back than you normally do when you're writing your name because I want you to get a nice soft line. These are going to be placement holders for us. That means we're gonna draw a shape to kind of give us an idea of what the overall look will be. So let's start with his head. Now, I don't wanna put his head way at the bottom because I want his body to show. So I'm gonna put his head sort of near the top. And what I'm gonna make for his head is a nice round oval. So I'm going to start off, and sometimes I'll make the oval shape in the air till I see the size that I like, and then I'll put my pencil down, just like that. And next, I'm going to draw another oval, but this time it's going to be long, and it's going to be right below his head. So it's going to come down and around, just like that. Now I'm gonna draw his arm. And his arm, I'm just gonna use a smaller oval right over here. You see where everything connects? I'm gonna put his oval shape right over here, just like so. One there. I'm gonna do the, another one right on the other side, just like I did. And it's okay that we're crossing lines because these are just sketch lines. They're not permanent. Next, I'm gonna put a little line down the middle of that long body oval. And I'm gonna put another one on the side and another one on the side. And then I'm gonna draw two small sideways ovals at the bottom. Those are gonna serve as his feet. Now, of course, if you're looking at this, it doesn't really look like much, but it will. Now, Cookie Monster's got these really big eyes and they stand sort of at the top of his head. So I want you to draw one big circle, and then I want you to draw another big circle right next to it. You're gonna color in the eyes by making circles. And because his eyes look in different directions, you're going to draw the eye circles at different locations. So you may draw one up and you may draw one down. He's got those silly eyes. Now for his mouth, he's got a big mouth. And we're gonna start on the sides of the eyes. So I'm gonna draw a little line there. It's kind of curved. And another little one on the other side. So one on the left of the eyes, one on the right. And it's very close underneath. Now I'm gonna draw a slight curve underneath the eyes and then I'm going to draw a nice fat U shape and it's not going to come from the corner it's going to come slightly in and I'm going to go down across and back up just like so all right so he's kind of looking like him a little bit more now I'm going to show you a way to give him some texture so Cookie Monster is not a flat character. He's quite fuzzy and furry. So we're going to make a bunch of M's. And they're gonna be really small and they're gonna go around those that circle shape that we started with as a sketch. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna go around, 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 around and stop. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm making an M and an M and an M, just never stopping, just like that. All right, now underneath here, I'm also gonna do that. I'm gonna make some more M's. And his arm, I also want his arm to be fuzzy. 
So I'm going to make more M's around his arm. And when I get to the top, I'm going to continue making those shapes, except I'm going to give him a thumb right there. Okay. And inside of this space, I'm going to draw an upside down half circle, just like that. Now it can get confusing because there are a little lot there are a lot of little lines in this area, but don't worry, we're going to clean it up. Now, on top of these lines, we're going to make a series of U's that don't stop. They go all the way across. Now that's going to be his cookie, his half-eaten cookie, I should say. And then I'm going to put some little dots in that cookie because he loves chocolate chip cookies. Next, I'm going to continue going around his body. And I'm going to make those M's all the way down to the legs. over the feet and I'm going to do the other side as well. Make those M's go over the foot, make some more M's and I'm even going to make some M's inside just like so. And I'm going to continue around the body. Now this arm I'm going to make it a little bit different. I'm going to actually continue my M's on that oval shape. And then I'm going to make M's on the outside of his arm shape. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's going to look as if his hand is behind him. All right. Now's the fun part. We've got all of our M's. We've got his hand the cookie, his eyes. Now it's time for us to get out that black pen. And what I want you to do is I want you to trace the outside M lines. Not any of the sketches that we drew to start with. You can follow me as we go. I'm gonna start with his eyes. I'm going to continue with his head. I'm going to trace his mouth. I'm going to trace the cookie. I'm going to close his mouth, but I'm not going to close it across the cookie, because the cookie's in front. I'm also going to trace his hand that's holding the cookie. And the ends that go all the way around. Also the ones on his chin and the ones alongside his body. Also, don't worry if you're outlining is not matching your sketch lines perfectly. That's okay. That happens to me all the time. As long as you're still doing the M pattern, you should be just fine. And I'm also going to color in those chocolate chips that we drew in. All right, I might give a little curve down here so it looks like his feet are kind of popping forward. And last, one of my favorite parts, we're gonna take an eraser after we let our ink dry for a minute or so. And we're going to lightly erase all the pencil marks.
All right, and so now you can really see the shape. But I'm also noticing some parts that I didn't trace. See this part right here? I'm gonna continue it all the way across so it completes his face. All right, and it kind of looks like his arm is really high up there, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Now I'm gonna show you how to fill in the color because of course Cookie Monster is not white and black. So go ahead and get a blue and let's color his whole body. So all the fur around his face, his arms, his body and his feet. Let's color it in blue. Sometimes when I color with a colored pencil in a small area, I like to go in little circles and move it just slightly so I can fill in the space with lots of color and I'm not crossing over any lines. So it allows me to be really careful. All right, so we've got his body nice and blue. Next, we're gonna get black and we're gonna shade in his mouth. And I'm gonna be very careful to make sure I don't color on top of that cookie. least I'm gonna take a brown and I'm gonna color that cookie give him a nice brown chocolate chip cookie all right and there he is guys he's a cute little guy and you know what I'll show you my original sketch because every time I draw him he comes out differently so you may want to try drawing it again too um, I'll show you my initial sketch and you'll see that he does look different kind of turning his head to the side here. Um, and his arm looks better, I think. <laughs> but I hope you had fun. And if you have any more special requests, send me a comment or leave me a message and I will certainly do my best to get that for you. All right, guys. Thanks again, Zach. Have a great day. Bye.